Assalamu alaikum. Today is the last part of the chapter carbohydrate and we will be discussing about the stereoisomerism. The stereoisomerism is the presence of the asymmetric carbon atom in a compound give rise to the formation of the isomer of that compound. So it means that the compound which have the asymmetric carbon will show it will show this property that is called as a stereoisomer. Stereoisomerism. What is stereoisomerism or what are the stereoisomers? The definition of stereoisomers is the compound which are identical in composition but they differ only in the special configuration or they, their structure is different due to the different uh, in the position of the different uh, chemical groups. Those are called stereoisomers. The two such stereoisomers are the glucose, D-glucose and the L-glucose and these are the mirror images of each other. You can see the molecular formula of both these compounds C6, H12O6 but you can see there is a change in structure. Uh, in the carbon number 2, OH group is present on the left side but in carbon number 3, OH group is present on the right side and same with the carbon number uh, 3 carbon number 4, carbon number 5. So the position of the OH group in 2, 3, 4, 5 is different. That's why they are the isomers to each other, same chemical composition, but their structure are different due to the different position of these group. The D and L series, as we discussed, D isomer or L isomer, how they are different. The orientation of H and OH group around the carbon atom just adjacent to the terminal terminal primary alcohol first uh, let's understand terminal either this is the terminal one terminal this is the other terminal but it's a primary alcohol so one terminal is aldehyde other terminal is alcohol so it is saying adjacent to the tem uh, terminal of the alcohol so this carbon which is the fifth carbon in the glucose this determine the series of OH in all these carbon so if it is on the right side the uh, the carb the OH adjacent to it will be in will be in the uh, similar position as that of the terminal carbon and the next will be opposite and the next will be opposite same if you see if the terminal the carbon adjacent to terminal OH is on the left side the uh, adjacent to this carbon OH is together and this opposite and this again opposite to this okay when the OH on this carbon is on the right side D series on the left side is the L series most of the carbohydrate occurs in mammals are D sugars and the enzyme responsible for ma metabolism are specific for their configuration there is another ex example of the D glyceraldehyde in the D glyceraldehyde OH on the right side L glyceraldehyde OH on the left side okay optical activity this is the activity which determine the position of the OH or which determine the this D and L in the stereoisomers. Presence of the asymmetric carbon also confer optical activity on the compound when the beam of the plane polarized light which means that this is the light source in which the light direction is everywhere but by putting the polarizer this beam became in one direction only and it become it is called as the plane polarized light okay so when the beam of plane polarized light uh, pass through the solution exhibiting optical activity so it means this over here is a sample tube on in which we will put the sample but the sample which is which contain asymmetric that only will show the action on this plane polarized light if the solution do not contain asymmetric there will be no any activity will be observed so it is it will rotate the to the right side in accordance with the compound the optical isomer or the enantiomer when it is rotated to the right the compound occur d isomer so it means that when the plane polarized light when enter into the solution this solution turn the light if it turns the light to the right side, it is called as extra rotatory. If it turns the right to the left side, 
it is called the levo rotator you can see after exiting the solution there is an analyzer which will see either the it is different from the previous one how it is different it is rotated to the left or it is rotated to the right okay so the definition of the optical activity is the ability 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 of the substance to rotate the plane polarized of the beam of the light that is passed through through it and the plane polarized light the vibration of that they are confined in a single plane okay so if the uh, if the solution contain both dextro and the levi rotatory isomer in the equal amount then it is called as a racemic mixture and it will show no optical activity as these isomer cancel each other what is resolution the separation of the optical isomer when if the two isomer are the mix together if they are separated the the method is called resolution okay now how the straight chain is uh, converted into the cyclic structure as the two reacting group aldehyde and the alcohol belong to the same molecule is saying how it is uh, cyclic structure is formed if the aldehyde and the alcohol molecule belong to the same structure or the same molecule if these groups aldehyde and the alcohol belong to the same molecule then the cyclization can take place in the open chain of the d glucose which may be called as aldehyde d glucose why first we discussed in the previous slide if this oh oh of the fifth carbon is present on the right side this glucose is called as a d glucose and this contain the aldehyde that's why it is called aldehyde or d glucose it condense the aldehyde condense means there will be removal of water this condense the aldehyde of the one and the oh of the fifth carbon okay so aldehyde is condenses with the oh not the carbon oh of the fifth carbon two different groups of the glucose are formed when the oh extend to the right it is called d glucose when the oh is extend to the left it is called beta d glucose let's see which oh group this talking about now you can see in this picture the oh of carbon number 1 because once the cyclization take place uh, the, for, uh, before there was double bond of with the oxygen but when this carbon made bond with the oxygen of this oh the uh, the bond is uh, the double bond is converted into single bond and the oh valency satisfied with the oxygen so it become oh so if this oh is extended to the right side it is called as the uh, sorry left side it is called as the beta and if the oh is extend to the right side it is called alpha because it is it is formed by the d glucose it is called alpha d glucose or the beta d glucose now these are the alpha d glucose beta d glucose are the isomer of each other okay so because these isomer are rest of the structure is same only the different is on the carbon number 1 so if the if the isomer are formed on the basis of this type like the position of the oh and the formation is the beta d glucose or alpha d glucose these are called anomers to each other okay these are the anomers to each other and the carbon which is responsible for this isomerism this carbon is called anomeric carbon same is written in this paragraph now Uh, the fisher projection is fisher projection was devised by the scientist called emil fisher in 1891 in 18th century is a two dimensional representation of the three dimensional molecule of the projection so fisher represented the two dimensional structure but haworth haworth in the 19th century suggests that the six membered ring form the sugar called as the pyranose why because the pyrene 
possesses the same ring 5 carbon and the oxygen so the pyrene ring is oxygen 1 oxygen 5 carbon but if these OH group are present CH2OH are present then it is called as the pyranose same with the furanose furan ring is the 5 membered ring 1 oxygen 4 carbon but if that furan ring contain the OH and OH as that of the carbohydrate it is called as a furanose now how in the closed ring structure how it is alpha beta if the this OH of carbon number 1 is opposite to CH2OH this is called alpha D glucose if it is in the same direction F the, as that of OH means CH2OH is upward OH is also upward it is called as the beta D glucose okay okay let's see how this linkage is formed uh, the straight chain is the carbon number one the carbon number one is bonded with the OH of carbon number five so this this carbon number five is turned over here so that it can bond with the carbon the carbon number one OH is bonded with the carbon number one so when it form the linkage with this carbon I told you the OH double bond is converted into a bond and the hydrogen is uh, is from the environment attached to the OH but the linkage with O the carbon number one and the O this is called as the hemiacetal the pyrano sugar uh, the pyranose form of the sugar are internal hemiacetal formed by the combination of the aldehyde or ketone uh, if the this uh, this uh, is come as in contrast to aldehyde if the carbon contain the ketone the same linkage with the ketone with the OH it is also called as a hemiacetal linkage OH of carbon number 5 similarly the furanose form the between the ketone group with the OH of carbon number 4 it is called as the hemiketal linkage because it is formed by the ketone we discussed the hemiacetal hemiketal is when the ketone group of carbon number 2 is attacked by the nucleophilic, nucleophilic attack of OH of carbon number 5 the linkage is formed that is called the hemiketal and the resulting compound is called as the uh, hemiketal or defructose which is the Hebrath projection the straight chain is the Fischer projection same with the hemiacetal which we already discussed the linkage between the between this uh, O of carbon number one and the it is called the hemiacetal linkage acetal or the ketal linkage on addition of the acid which protonate the anomeric OH forming water as a potential leaving group another alcohol can add forming an acetal with the water leaving if the other alcohol in the second monosaccharide or diasaccharide results it means that if mono if another monosaccharide is bonded with the another monosaccharide this linkage is called as the glycosidic linkage okay when the two monosaccharide are bonded this is called as the glycosidic linkage which is shown in the is this slide also how it is formed this is also a condensation the release of water is there water is released and the the linkage is formed this is called as a glycosidic linkage okay now the epimers or the epimerization epimerization the process by which the epimers are formed is called epimerization these are the isomer how they are formed uh, you can see in the glucose as compared to galactose the chemical formula is same C6 H12O cell but there is a difference where there is a difference we can see on the carbon number 4 the OH group is present on the left side but in the glucose carbon number 4 OH group is present on the right side rest of the structure is same of the glucose and the galactose so these are the epimers of each other similarly if we see the structure of mannose and glucose the rest of the structure is same but in on the carbon number two OH is present on left side but OH is present on the right side so these are epimer of each other
in Enchuma are called the mirror image. We all, we already discussed in the previous slide, but here is a definition for you to read. And this is a figure for the Enchuma or the mirror image. Thank you.